Attention Star Wars fans. Remember those speeder bikes on Endor? We might see a real one soon. A California-based company, Aerofex, has recently started to test run a hovercraft bike. They have developed a personal hovercraft known as the Tandem Duct Aerial Vehicle, which will let drivers zip around while suspended several feet in the air. At this point, the device can hover about 15 feet off the ground and travel at a max speed of 30 miles an hour. Rather than having wheels like a normal motorcycle, the Aerofex vehicle has a pair of ducted rotors. The company has addressed stability issues in the design by using a mechanical system with two control bars located at the rider's knee level. Those control bars allow the vehicle to respond to the pilot's leaning movements and natural sense of balance. Control of the bike is handled mechanically with no electronics or artificial intelligence flight software required. That should make the bike more robust, cheaper to produce and operate, and safer. The company is set to test an unmanned drone version before looking at actually mass producing these babies. So it looks like it's gonna be a while before we zip past the trees in these. For most people, lasers are meant for pointing beams or plans to take over the world. But thanks to one entry into the James Dyson Design Awards, lasers might be soon in kitchens around the world. It's a conceptual and creative entry with a not so creative name. It's called the Laser Device for Cutting of Foodstuff, and it was designed to solve the sanitary risks that knives can pose going from one food to another. The device will use rotating rings with electromagnets guided by a very simple processor to fire beams that will cut the segments based on measurement, mass, or a picture on the menu. The user would choose the type of food being made and how they'd like it cut on the countertop beside the device. Safety won't be an issue. The device is entirely self-contained, so the lasers couldn't pose any risk to users or children. Now that's what I call sharp thinking.